Just talk to us about the second quarter and whether that represents, do you think, uh, the low from coronavirus and what you expect going forward? Uh, good morning. Uh, yes, I believe that the worst is behind us. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, all the instruments that should be triggered uh, are already triggered, but uh, I see uh, a recovery uh, around the corner. Um, Limity, as you said, uh, had a strong quarter. Uh, we doubled the net profit of the first quarter, and uh, we kept a very strong capital ratios and liquidity ratio. So we are quite happy about it. For a startup that was launched uh, uh, less than two years ago, uh, getting so close to 5% uh, ROE uh, is quite a result. So uh, it means that uh, our industry that is really reshaping itself uh, uh, has room for new paradigm banks like ours. The um, CT1 ratio is um, a little weaker than where you were at the end of the first quarter at 18.3, but still robust. You talked about the uh, liquidity, which has dropped, <clears throat> excuse me, from 750 million in Q1 to 500 million. You're, com you're obviously very comfortable with those levels. You don't feel the need here for additional liquidity. Not at all. We have a buffer. Uh, to uh, finance the growth uh, that uh, we are experiencing uh, uh, during the year. So that uh, liquidity buffer is even too high, but uh, it's now uh, getting reduced because of the growth we are experiencing both in uh, uh, lending and in investments. So very much in line with what uh, uh, we planned. And uh, the quarter one ratio uh, is, uh, is very high, given that uh, we kept growing and also in the second quarter, our volumes got uh, up uh, by almost 10 percent. Corrado, discipline is obviously very important at this time as uh, we look at the possibility of recovery, but we see the blight of continued infections. You've increased your loan book over the quarter and the first half. How confident are you that you're writing good, secure, creditworthy business here? Uh, obviously, uh, it's a matter of judgment, but uh, we have uh, around the table such strong skills, both uh, banking skills, uh, artificial intelligence uh, data skills, uh, industry skills, because what makes our bank a bit different from uh, many others is that we select very precisely uh, uh, the deals we want to be uh, uh, part of, uh, and we put those three kind of skills all together. And the industrial skills with people coming from the industry uh, is very crucial. So the combination of technology and experience makes uh, us confident uh, that the quality of our portfolio is and will remain uh, uh, quite solid. And actually, as of today, uh, uh, the evidence is in that direction.